Okay, in th this tutorial we're going to have a look at the data entry boxes, not the, um, the information or text entry boxes for the core subject classroom base, so for English, um, for maths and for science. I'm going to use 3F as the example again, uh, and again I'm going to go to the same place in National Curriculum Reports uh, and over to Parent Report. We'll have a look at a blank one just to begin with again, just to um, refresh our memories. Okay, so this is the blank report as we looked at in the last uh, tutorial. Okay, and just to give us an idea of what a completed one will look like, uh, if I go to this one here, you can see that this is one where all of the text uh, has been entered for Arabic, for English, for Math, Science, for specialist subjects, summer learning opportunities. Okay. So, um, what we'll do is have a look at uh, entering information into the English box here. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is have a look at this tab here, which is the core subjects. So that gives me a drop down. Again, I'm going to ignore these drop down menus here about effort. Okay, uh, and I'm going to go to English uh, Edit. And that's going to bring up my English comment entry box. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we need to get in there is the context. Now the context is going to be, if it hasn't been already, uh, sent out to you by the core subject team. So uh, English will be having a look at the context that we wrote last year and sending them out to you so that you can paste them straight in uh, to your reports here. So if we just use one from uh, last year, literacy context the team are going to keep them exactly the same size so we're absolutely fine with word count uh, I'm just going to paste that in here now straight away you can see that that's taken up five lines one two three four just five however if I click on OK it's going to enter it into this English box and it's going to be three lines and that's exactly what we want for the context five lines in the box which equates to three lines on the actual report. Okay. I'm then going to leave a space by hitting enter a couple of times and then I can start entering in uh, all of my uh, information and data uh, in here. So I can start typing in. That will then show of course uh, in here. Now I need to be mindful of a few things here. Uh, in terms of the content of the report, there are one or two things that, that are must-dos and then of course there are, there's a huge kind of section where it's very personal for, for, the, for the child within your class. So the first, first sentence should always, always comment on the child's progress uh, within that subject. So the parents get a sense on the front sheet the data sheet of the levels that the children have reached in terms of attainment but in this box here we're going to be commenting uh, probably more qualitatively um, on the progress so I might put something in here such as uh, Alfie has made uh, outstanding progress this year at JPS um, but if I'm going to use terms such as outstanding or excellent or very good or um, good progress then of course that needs to be in line with uh, JPS expectations and national expectations in terms of progress made across a year okay so it needs to be uh, very very accurate so for me the first line would always be a statement of the progress that a child has made okay um, beyond that particularly in the English one the next thing to consider is having uh, an equal balance or relatively equal balance in terms of reading, writing and uh, speaking and listening. So we haven't got a, a huge comment that is just purely focused on, uh, on the writing. Um, then we can start to talk about the types of things that the child is able to do. Um, you know, Alfie has been working very hard on his persuasive uh, letter writing etc 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 these are the skills that he uh, has learned and is able to apply in a range of contexts so we're talking about uh, the types of things that, that 
that Alfie in this uh, instance can do. Um, then I'm, I'm going to comment on the child's enjoyment. Uh, do they? Is it something? Is it a subject that they're particularly passionate about? Is it something that they engage well with? Is it something that they relate well uh, with others? Um, is it something that they have? They are growing in confidence within this subject. Uh, so I can use that type of language uh, there. Uh, and then the final thing to include in here is if there's been any sort of uh, standout moment in this subject for that child. So if they've got on a particular certificate or done a, a really great piece of uh, learning, uh, that we can comment on that uh, as a nice uh, memory for the, for the people when they're looking back at these reports uh, in, in, in a few years. So the important things in terms of content is very much to comment on the progress first, to be able to comment on what the child uh, can uh, do within the subject, comment on their enjoyment, their engagement within the subject, is it a passion uh, and has there been a particular standout moment and then of course making sure that we've got the balance right in terms of the different parts that sit within uh, English uh, for instance here. Uh, so that's the content, in terms of the number of lines in here from when you start the comment the number of lines to fill to the bottom of this box is 10 uh, and that's the exact number of lines that we need for it to uh, print properly so we have to do 10 lines of text so if I go to Alfie's report from last year here from year one um, if I select last year we had the Dana 12 uh, and a pretty full box here there's only a little gap at the end but if I select that and drop it into here by just pasting it in that's absolutely perfect it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lines you will know if you've gone over because down the right side here you'll get the scroll bar and you'll start losing writing here at the top so if I continue typing I'm going to get the scroll bar here and the writing is going to be disappearing at the top so I know I've gone too far uh, so you're aiming to fill the box to the bottom line without going into um, the next line where we start losing text off the top. Uh, when I click OK on this one, what we're going to get is a nice full box um, made up of three lines of context, seven lines of text here, which relates to five lines of context and ten lines of, of text um, in here. Now that would be exactly the same for maths and exactly the same uh, for for science uh, considering all of the different things that we've uh, just mentioned. So that's it in terms of the core subject. In a later tutorial um, I'll talk about the Arabic um, and Islamic and I'll talk about these specialists as well um, but the next tutorial will look at the summer learning opportunities uh, in the core subjects. Okay.